All right, this week on Hunting Land Man TV, we're bouncing all over the place. We're going to the Midwest to hunt giant whitetails, bouncing back to South Louisiana to show you a super unique listing, something even me, I've never been a part of or never done, and I think we're gonna get it sold. All right, so big day today. We are doing a super secret pre-meeting to uh, uh, a listing we're working on. This is not normal hunting land man stuff. We are um, listing Barn Hill Preserve and Magnolia Ridge. Um, this is an event center. Um, they have, it's not a zoo, but exotic animals. They have pumpkin patches and uh, at, over at Magnolia Ridge, you have zip line and zombie paintball, corn mazes, hay mazes, stuff you bring your kids to. And um, this is a really cool project. And my buddy Lynn, Lizzie uh, called me about co-listing this with her. And I, we've done some big projects together, and they've all been super successful. So hopefully, we will keep the uh, super successful theme going. But this is a crazy project. We're gonna learn a lot about it. I got my buddy Brian Dryden in the back and uh he's been to where with me to kansas where we're headed this afternoon so take care of real estate first go kill rack, big rack bucks tomorrow or at least that's the plan okay if we do the main videos three minutes yeah. we could do maybe we could do hey i'd like to learn more about the uh zip line course maybe yeah. here yeah. here's the link do like i just pictured if, if you went down something like this and you had to go pro to as part of the video to say you know anywhere you can invest where you can bring kids and stuff like that and kind of throw a little passion into it other than just numbers on a paper yeah you know because anybody if they're if they're an investor for something like this you have to love it a little bit of course it's not like a buying apartment buildings All right, we're headed to one of our favorite places. If you've ever watched me much on TV, you know that I love our spot we hunt in Kansas. We've had some great hunts in the past, and I mean some really good hunts. All right, time to head up there. We're going to meet um, our buddy Randy Birdsong and meet our crew up there. We've been going up there so long, it's almost like a family reunion. We love hunting Kansas. This is like, this whole town makes me smile. I've got so many good memories here. I think this is my 15th year hunting Kansas, or hunting here in Kansas. We missed, uh, we missed uh, one year. I had, a, um, I had a big fire here and we didn't get to hunt here one year, but uh, I've been here 15 years. What's up, bro? Brother, I'm, right? I'm glad I didn't wear my shirt exactly like that today. I'd look funny. Beard on this man. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. A cold six-pointer coming in every night mm -hmm. in one of your favorite spots. Hey. I got you ready. Don't, don't tip me with a good time. All right. Did you get Did you get a video of that group, or you probably didn't get that group, did you? I got a couple of them. We need that group, not the one I shot before. All right, this is mid-October, so these deer are, they're not in the peak of the rut, and they're not in the summer feeding patterns. So we watch cameras hev heavily up there. Good weather, the deer still move, they come to feed, they come to these wheat fields. And we got a couple of giants we're hunting. Here's the deal, it takes one day to kill them and one day to spook them. The wind is not right the first day. So we're gonna hunt in the area, but we're not really thinking we're hunting these deer. We're gonna wait till the wind gets right. And so this afternoon, we're just gonna have a little fun. All right, year number 15 out here in Kansas. And we're going back to the tree. Well, it used to be a tree till it burned up that I killed my first deer ever out out here. So it's good to be back. We got Wyatt, we got birds on, we got Tyler. We got the whole crew hunting with it right here the last couple years. 
There ain't no spot I'd rather be. It's right here at this spot in Kansas. Great people and big rag mugs. Nothing small about that. And that deer's looking back that way. That deer, I mean, this one's only 100 yards. I just, I got really good footage of this one right now. Okay. You don't want to miss out footage on a quality spike such as this. What's he doing? Our first day we saw a lot of really really good deer in fact for most areas these would be giant shooters but not here in kansas so this wind switches tomorrow we're not hunting in the mornings we don't want to spook these deer and uh when the wind switches i think we're gonna be in the game and i'm like a kid at christmas i can't wait for tomorrow all right this afternoon we are finally we got the right wind 
And we didn't hunt this morning, waiting on the wind. My rule is it takes one day to kill them and one day to spook them. And so all the way from Mississippi, we have brought the secret weapon for this afternoon. I'm getting me a little, a little bag to bring into the stand. Perfectly legal to feed in Kansas. And I noticed out here in Kansas the last couple years, the, uh, this distiller's grain, which is the main ingredient in this game changer. Ah, no. Plus, as you know, all deer love corn. So, a little distiller's grain with a little corn in there, a couple other minerals and fortified vitamins, and peanuts. And my little peanuts. Anyway, I'm gonna make me a little bag for the stand this afternoon. I'll be good.
don't smoke him, and I think we smoked him. Hey, if y'all don't know it, that deer we just shot is 180 plus inches. He's got so much going on on his brow. This big joker right here is that big too. My gosh, thank you, Lord. Rat buck down in Kansas, baby. Boom. Probably my best buck ever. Pretty sure he's dead at 50 yards right there. We'll just give it till dark. Sending out that Indian, baby. I've been here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's go get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Randy killed a giant, too. Song just killed a hammer. He sent me a picture of him. Big, tender, tender lip. He ran right here. I drowned him. He went right here. Good blood. Head caught up in the bush. Oh wow, boys. Oh wow. We have killed a giant. Come on. Mainframe nine. Just a giant. That's nine, 18, 25 inch beams. Seven inch brows. He's got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 scoreable points. What you think, Caleb? Is that a giant? Yes. That's not a giant. I don't know what it is. I'm talking about a fine buck. Congratulations. Oh. Congrats. Congrats to you, man. I can't wait to see you. Dang. Hammer. Hammer. He's a big old frame rascal, ain't he? Big old body, too. That is wild, man. Good job, buddy. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Good brother. Good job, man. But I'm talking about a giant brain. Kansas 10 pointer. Look at that rascal. One eighty three and four eighths, my best deer ever. That'll do. All right, we had an unbelievable trip in Kansas, just a really blessed time, but it's time to get back and do some work. I'm really excited about this new listing. Barn Hill, you know, we sell a lot of hunting tracks and things like that, and so when you get a different listing like this, it's an extra challenge, and we all love challenges. Um, today, we're going out, and we're gonna learn all about Barn Hill. We're meeting with our crew out there, we're meeting with the owner, and for me, I wanna know, you know, with the owner, what is going on with this place? What makes this place unique? Why would somebody else, a buyer, want to purchase this place? And I need to, I need to pull that out of him. I need to see the operation. That way, when a guy calls me on the phone and say, hey, I'm interested in Barn Hill, tell me more about it, I can sincerely tell him what I know and why this place is special. Well, it is our big shoot day. Uh, they're having, um, Slothtoberfest. They got beer vendors and they got, of course, sloths here at Barn Hill. And we're going to video the crowds and what Barn Hill brings. Thankfully, the good Lord has given us some good weather this afternoon. Rain this morning, got rain on our backwoods plots. And uh, right now, we're kind of getting all set up. We're getting lights set up, cameras, getting the game plan. And me and Caleb are walking around looking at these animals. And look, I'm just going to be honest with you. All I can think about is that is a raptor feet on like a turkey body. And they got signs they stay three feet away because they Gabe was telling me that thing will he'll wear you out. What is this thing? A three-banded or Brazilian I mean, armadillo. I need a Brazilian armadillo. <laughs> I knew that.
Proverbs 2, 20 through 22. So you will walk in the way of the good and keep to the paths of the righteous. For the upright will inhabit the land and those with integrity will remain in it. But the wicked will be cut off from the land and the treacherous will be rooted out of it. 